Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, it's good that those people got to enjoy it today because this next week might not yeah. be so enjoyable. It gets even colder and the mm -hmm. wind is in play. So I know it's a big ski week. You just have to take those breaks after right. every few runs and cover the face and everything because that's what we're looking at here. We do have a wind chill advisory. This is for basically all day tomorrow in the color shaded areas where wind chill values could be as low as 20 below zero. This is most of the Adirondacks and also the Northeast Kingdom with the wind chill advisory. It's already cold. You don't even need any wind right now and it'd be cold enough. It's six in Plattsburgh, three in Schuyler Falls and 10 in Waitsfield. We'll take a look at southern areas, 12 in Springfield, even nine in Keene. Most of the snow is now winding down. We definitely had a snowy day in central Vermont. The highway there, Interstate 89, was covered for a time, but that snow is tapering off and we're left with a clearing sky for the rest of the night. And most of us will be below zero by tomorrow morning. Two below in Burlington, 10 below in St. Johnsbury. And you see the clearing sky here on Futurecast going into early tomorrow morning. The thing about tomorrow is that the sky is really going to be blue, a beautiful day looking outside, but it's really going to be ineffective. The temperatures stay in the single digits. We're calling for a high of eight in the Champlain Valley. Of course, that means it's colder elsewhere. Average high is 30, so we are more than 20 degrees below average tomorrow. Minus one the high in Saranac Lake, also minus one for the high in Newport. But when you factor in a little bit of a northwest wind, this is what it'll feel like. A lot of white on the map. That white means really cold stuff. 22 below zero at 2 p.m. in Saranac Lake. That's what it'll feel like. Two below in Bennington. How about Thursday morning? 30 below zero. I think this is wind chill warning. Uh, territory by Thursday morning. So we step it up a little bit in the severity department of the cold by Thursday. I think that's actually the worst day of the next few at least, but we really don't see any improvement here. It looks like single digits all the way through the next seven days. And if you're wondering if that'll register anything special in the record books, it would. This is a list of the longest single digit stretches in history since 1884 in Burlington in the Champlain Valley. 10 days the longest. Don't think we get there. We'll come close though. If we get to seven days, it would be a, a tie for a second longest stretch of single digit cold since uh, 96. That's when we had seven days the last time around. Now, is there any snow in the mix? Well, maybe we're watching this system here coming through the Mid-Atlantic on Friday and it strengthens here over the ocean, sort of near Cape Cod. This is one depiction on Saturday. It looks like we're on the fringe. So the question is just how much snow gets in here. It looks like southern Vermont and southern New Hampshire has the best chance at a little bit of snow on Saturday. Things could change, but the proximity of the storm is still in question. So right now we'll keep an eye on southern areas which are most at risk. But if that changes, we will update you. For the Champlain Valley, we'll just paint in a full cloud on Saturday, keeping it dry. But the single digit cold definitely lasts all the way into next week. We have the forecast there for New Year's Eve on Sunday and New Year's Day on Monday, that high there, that's a high of two. So if you have plans for the late night hours, we're looking at single digits below zero at least. This really does not end any time soon. So prepare for it, dress for it. That's how it looks for now. Vanessa, back to you. Yikes. Thank you, Tyler.